Good morning, everyone. This is Lisa from Happy Dog Creations, and today is Monday. Oh, it's Monday. <sighs> back to the workplace, back to the workplace. It's August 5th. <laughs> I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. Um, mine was somewhat productive. <laughs> we kind of got a little lazy for a few hours, but um, Jack had the weekend off, and that's a rare thing, so... We just kind of hung out. We had the grandbabies with us. Um, some of our kids came to visit. My other children, it was like, nice. <laughs> um, today, in my Marauders map, goes all the way around. It'll be a, it'll be disappearing soon. Um, I'm still in caramel macchiato mode, you guys. Okay. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> I want to say hi to everyone. <laughs> wow, you guys are great. Did you, do you, you know what? Whatever you're going through today, or whatever you have been going through, I just want to let you know that I think you're amazing. Okay? You're amazing. If you're having kind of a stressful day or a stressful week, just, you know what? Even if you have to go in the closet and close the door, just take a deep breath. Take a deep breath and relax. It'll be fine. Just take a breath and do one thing at a time. I've had to do that myself this weekend. I just, I get so overwhelmed and I want to just do everything, right? I want to get it all done. I'm looking around my house and I'm like, man, I haven't done anything with that. Maybe I should do something with that. Maybe I should dust that. Maybe I should. And it's like, no, no, no. I told myself I was going to spend time with the hubby this weekend. Uh, so normally we get one day off together, it's, which is Sunday. So I have every weekend off. Jack has every Sunday off, but then he's also off one day in the middle of the week. Well, I'm working Monday through Friday. So his day off is my, is one of my biggest travel days out of town. So I usually don't get home till about six, six thirty. So we just really try to utilize whatever time we have to spend together. And my brain was not, my brain was still on, oh, Jack's probably going to work today, all day on Saturday. So Saturday, I get a lot of stuff done in my house. And um, I just, I really had to just take a step back and just breathe and think, you know what? It's still going to be there. Just calm down. It'll be all right. That's what I was telling myself. I'm like, it's fine. I know you normally do things this way, but we're going to do it this way this time because priority. He's my priority. So it waited. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I wanted to say hi to my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for hopping over and um, experiencing this channel and liking what you see and hitting that like and subscribe button. That's amazing. Thank you so much. And you are all more than welcome here. I also wanted to thank all of my <clears throat> See, it's doing it again. <laughs> All of my subscribers who've been with me from the beginning, I appreciate you guys so much. Um, thanks for sticking around. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. So, <clears throat> what do we have? What do we have? I don't know. It's August 5th. We got to have someone's birthday. Someone has to have a birthday today, right? If it is your birthday today, happy birthday to you. If it is your anniversary, congratulations and happy anniversary to you both. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. It is really early today. I got both lights on because it hasn't, the sun's, it's it's working its way to my house. But by the time that happens, hopefully I'll be in the office. I have to go to the office today. Get some paperwork done. Okay, so, oh, I just realized my clover hook kind of matches what I'm wearing. Sorry, just thought I'd say that. All right. All right, guys. Oh, so there's a thing that happened. <laughs> I am officially at 11,000 subscribers. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. You know, when I first started this channel, it was, I, I had absolutely no expectations at all. I just thought, you know what? I'm having knee surgery. I'm going to be off all this time. Let me, let me, you know, put something on YouTube and see how it goes. Right. Um, you know, back then I was maybe doing 
I don't know, I think it was once every couple of weeks, sometimes once a month, it was very sporadic. And, but you know, again, I wasn't expecting to like make money. I wasn't expecting to get all these subscribers. I just thought, man, eh, it's gotta be one or two people who have the same interest as I do, that they crochet, you know, and, and maybe somebody wants to hear about it. So that's, you know, kind of how that happened. And, and I just think, man, that's <laughs> 11,000 subscribers. That's mind boggling to me, but I just wanted to say a special thank you to all of you who have, you know, visited my shop, visited my social media platform, can't say that right, and, you know, decided you like what you see. Um, I don't know. I just feel like sometimes thank you is not enough, but I want you to know that I am, I mean, I'm just in awe of you guys because you're amazing. And I do this because you keep wanting me to do it. So, <laughs> So as long as that is something that you still want, I'm still going to put them out there to you. See, it's already starting, <laughs> but it's still nice and warm. <clears throat> so anyway, I just wanted to say a special thank you. I've got like seven orders that I got over this weekend that I've packed and they are in my chair in my living room and I've got to put them in my car and take them to the post office. I get so excited. Oh my gosh. And then... Um, so I want to say a special thank you to Yolanda, to Sarah, to, um, let's see, who else is it? Um, Bonnie, I'm <laughs> like, I know I've got them. Bonnie, Donna, um, Sandra. Oh, I know I'm going to forget someone. And Laura, and Laura, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. I, I really do. It gets exciting. I, I love when I get a notification. And, you know, it's not just, <laughs> this is what's so funny. When my grandkids are anywhere around where my phone or my iPad is because they're connected and they hear that notification from Etsy, <laughs> they're like this. They're like, what did you sell? What did you sell? They just get so excited. And then Jack sits back and <clears throat> he says, that notification went off again. <clears throat> then then when it happened the third time, he was like, what are you doing in there? <laughs> I said, you know, sometimes that happens, mister. I said, sometimes I get multiple sales in a day. But they were so funny. They, were, they had me crack it up. Um, Cameron was coming up to get chips and salsa and it went off. And then Jordan came in. She's She's been helping me kind of get the yarn put up. If you noticed, that box is empty. We got everything out. I thought maybe I would work from some in the box and then, um, then the wall, right? But nope, she got it all on there. Although I'm not sure if I would like them in the bag. I like to, I don't know. I like to, I like to touch my yarn and just go, oh, that's so plushy. Um, I don't know. She... She left them in the bags and I said, that's fine. It's it's what it is. So we'll see. But man, aren't they so cute? I'm just loving these colors right here. This is a good vibe for me. <laughs> well, that's a really good vibe for me. You know how I feel about retro stripes. But anyway, um, anyway, thanks again. All my information will be in the description box below. Uh, even if you just go over there and over to my Etsy shop and just favorite some items, that really helps me. You don't have to buy anything, but I do appreciate it when you do. So thank you so much for that. All right. Now, since I have to, you know, go to work <laughs> and it's been almost 10 minutes, let's get this going. My eyes, let's do it again. And I didn't bring a tissue this time. Oh, hold on, guys. This mannequin guy, he's just like, he just won't be still. Man, I really did think I had an, a tissue in here. Um, <sighs> you know, this is just weird. My eye is watering up like crazy right now. There, thank you. 
Oh, okay. All right. Better. <laughs> Just gets so watery. Okay, so first and foremost, no, nope, we're not going to we're not going to answer that right now. First and foremost, this is this is the DK Colors the 383 yards and berry jam. I have three other colorways. They're in the other room. So when I get to them, I'll let you know. So you guys have said that you wanted me to make um, a cardigan. So this is going to be a cardigan. So anyway, uh, I am going to make a cardigan out of this. And I can't find the other one. <laughs> I was looking for it. But I know it's somewhere. I, I know it's around here somewhere. So, yeah. We, we, you know, we've been moving things around. Jordan said she remembers seeing it. But I know I bought a pack of three because they had it on sale at Hershner's. Uh, no, not Hershner's. Premier. Yes. It was a bag sale. That's usually when I get it. I think it was $5. $5 for three or $8. And then when it went three for five, I bought some more colorways. This is just... This to me is just beautiful. I love it. I love the way it feels. Um, and I have, I know I have two other colorways that I are here now that are just two of each. So I think when these went on sale for $2, I bought them. Maybe it was $3. It was cheap. And I thought, oh, I'll get a couple and see what I like. Well, I do like Berry Jam. I don't know what the other one is called, but it has, um, it's a very neutral. It's like, it's got, it almost looks like brown, not looks like, but um, brown. It is browns with like specks and then tans. It's really cute. If you look it up on Premiere, you'll know exactly which one I mean, because it's in the other room and I don't have time to go get it. Sorry, but I'll show it to you eventually. But anyway, that's what I plan on doing with this. It's going to be a cardigan. Thank you all who made comments below. And um, I'll tell you, it was pretty close because everybody was like, man, that's going to make a really nice uh, bohemian vest. So with the other color, because this is kind of like the pinkish one. I've got one that looks a pink or coral. I don't know. Berry jam. That's how it's, I think it's really neat. So um, this will be a cardigan. And when I'm done with this, and I don't even know when I'm going to finish it, but I am going to put it in one of my little, um, my Hobie bags, or not Hobie, my Timu bags that I received, I kept those things. Those things are great. Oh, I love them. So I'll put that in there with my clover hook because, you know, I probably got six of these bad boys and an H. The recommended hook size is a four millimeter. I won't use it that small. No. Um, I'm going to use this H hook right here. <laughs> That's what I'm going to use to make uh, a hexy cardi with that one right there. So that's my plans. I'm gonna put it in a bag until um, I'm working on a blanket for this blanket right here. I haven't even made any more headway. <laughs> so I, oh gosh, you guys, this is so soft. That that tie dye-ish, man, that is some soft, oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta put this down. But anyway, he, um, the mom, I contacted her this weekend and she's also a coworker. So she said that her son has to report, or I guess report, as good as word as any, but he has to report to college. <laughs> uh, I believe she said the 23rd. Let's see, my birthday's on Wednesday. Eight, one, two, three. Yep, he's got to be there Friday. So the 23rd is when he's going to be there um, in his dorm with his roommate, and I want his blanket done. So I now have, you know, when you, when you add the cardigan, I probably have like 10 whips. I'm not even playing. It's okay though. It's okay. So the last thing I wanted to show you before I head out here is I went to, and I might've shown you this yarn already, but I went to Joanne Fabrics. No, not mine because mine closed in April. But you guys know I travel a lot for work when I go to see my clients. So if there's a Michaels or a Joanne Fabrics, I stop. Hobby Lobby, not so much. My Hobby Lobby is like five minutes from my house. So I saw this yarn. I was asking some of my yarny peeps. I'm like, hey, have you guys ever used this yarn? Because I have not used it. It is Big Twist Posh yarn. It is not a number five at all. It says it's a number five. This is not a number five to me. Um, I mean, when you compare it to... 
look at the difference this is this is a number five uh it just it's it's just thinner so i didn't want to get a bunch of this yarn i'm trying new things out um and although i absolutely love making amigurumi which is what i purchased this for i also want to continue to make blankets and hats and scarves and bohemian vests and shawls and you know whatever else i feel like making <laughs> I don't want to limit myself to just amigurumi. Yes, it's now definitely going to be part of my events when I do them. But guys, sometimes, you know, like I've been making a lot of amigurumi. So whatever I get done this week, Saturday, I'm taking a little bit of a break. And I'm just going to maybe just do hats or something. Kind of like I did when um, we were on vacation. When we were traveling back and forth, I didn't want to take any any amigurumi to do. I didn't, I just like, hmm, what can I, what haven't I made in a while? What was hats? I love making hats. I think those are always going to be my go-to thing to make. It's like my um, my comfort. I just, you know, just one ball of yarn. It doesn't have to be anything spectacular. Just grab a ball of yarn and a hook and make a hat. So that's why I love to make them. But I wanted to try this out before I just decided that I didn't like it. Okay. Um, so when I went to Joanne Fabrics, they had 25% off it included sale sale price and these were um i believe there were 6.99 a piece on sale and then i got 25 percent off of that so yeah so seven dollars twenty one two four yeah it took like five dollars off five or six dollars so i thought mm, that's worth it because i bought three i got i don't the other two dang it you guys i left the other two in the room all right, so I got this one, which I think you guys know how I feel about lime green. I don't let me see. Glowworm is the color. Oh my gosh, you remember when we used to have glowworm on um red heart yarn? Nothing like this. It doesn't look anything like this. But this is called glowworm. I also got the neon coral and I got the purple one. The purple one next to this. Oh my gosh. It was so cool. So anyway. I got this. The recommended hook size. Let me hold on. Let me tell you about this thing real quick. Do do do. It's two hundred and thirty three yards, seven point five ounces, and uh, two hundred grams. Okay, and it is one hundred percent polyester. And let wait a minute. I must have just okay. It says it's a number five. Like I said, in my opinion, it's a it's a four. <laughs> I mean. It's no, it's it's just too thin. But the recommended hook size is an eight millimeter, which is an L hook. I did not use an L hook. I believe that's my yellow one. You know what? I can't find my yellow hook anywhere. It's got to be in a bag. I do that. I can't. I shouldn't do that if I only have one of something. And I only have one L hook. And I really need to get another one. <laughs> I don't know where that went. But anyway. So they want, they said recommended an L. So the two items that I made, I used an H hook, that one in particular. So let me show you what I made so oh, I can get out of here. Let me drink another drink of my coffee. Okay, the first thing I made, he's kind of stiff, so I'm not sure if I would do it again, but I did make a leggy frog. Look at how bright he is. Oh, he just makes me so happy. I don't know if I got this guy and kind of twirled his legs around, get him all good and stretched out. I let him out like this and I get his arms and I twirl him around a little bit just to uh, get him from being so doggone stiff. So I love the color, but I'm just not, I mean, and it's, it's nice and plushy. We'll see how he does. I am going to make a few more. There's 233 yards in here, guys. I can make a lot, especially with an H hook. So I'm going to make some more of this color. Um, yeah, it, it worked up quick. It, um, what, is, what am I going to say? Um, on the hook, crochets well, no issues there. So then I decided, okay, let's make a stingray. So I did. I, <laughs> I made a stingray. And I am just, man, I'm just loving this color so much. It makes me happy. 
So yeah, I want to make a few more stingrays. And I'm also, um, I don't know how it's going to work up. But the other stingray that I showed, so a few of you have interest. That has been listed in my shop. I listed it the other day. So uh, if you're interested in it, it's there. Um, if not, just email me and I'll let you know if you want to make it yourself. I know I've got, hold on. I say that and I thought it was right here. Do, 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 do. Okay, so it isn't. <laughs> it should be though. I might have taken it. It was like crow... Do well, guys. If you want, if you want it, if and I didn't mention it, I'm pretty sure I did though. But it should be in the um, the video that I mentioned that because it is a free pattern, and a lot of people said they were having issues with like row five or something. I remember that. But anyway, there's this, and then there's this, and I thought, hold on, let me hold them, let me hold them this way. Woo woo. And I do like the yarn. I didn't think I was, I mean, you know, I, I was kind of like reserved. I'm like, mm, it's not a five. It's a little bit thinner. But you know what? For me, it works. So here's my question to you. <laughs> do you like posh yarn? Have you used posh yarn? And if so, what have you made that you really like with that yarn? And not only that... But do you use an L hook or do you use your own size hook for your for your gauge or your size that you want? Just let me know. I'm just curious because, um, I mean, I've got 233 yards and I've got three skeins of it. It's going to last me for a while. Um, I hope. Might not. I might just find something and go, oh my gosh, we're going to make a bunch of them. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to make some octos out of this color. All three of them. That purple, this yellow, I mean this green, yellow. That purple, this green, and that coral color, I think would make really pretty um, and bright octos, frogs. So it's going to be like a neon color collection. <laughs> anyway, I thought it was really cute. And you let me know what you think. Okay. And what else? I think that's it, guys. <laughs> I really go. Oh, I'm wearing my shirt that I got in a swap from Justine. And it's a little wrinkled. I forgot it was in my thing. I feel bad, but um and but I have a pair of Bermuda shorts, the exact color. I'm got I've got them on right now. The exact color. I'm so excited. I was like, oh when I got when I took the shirt out of the box, I'm like, oh, I know exactly what I'm gonna wear with this. My shorts fit perfect. It's it's paperwork day, so I don't really have to dress up. I mean, I might see a client today, might not, but all my paperwork will be cut up today, uploads, everything that I need to do. I'll get it all done today. And then I'll come home. Yesterday we had, um, we had grilled chicken, asparagus, and cottage cheese. Uh, what am I making today? Oh yeah, I know what I'm making today. So <laughs> I have been wanting lasagna. No, not lasagna. Oh, that's because my grandson, he said something about lasagna. I'm like, no. Although lasagna is good, but I've actually been wanting homemade enchiladas. Uh, so I'm going to make some today. I think today is going to be the day. And Spanish rice, um, I don't use a packet. All I do is I get either instant brown rice or um, a packet of long grain brown rice. And my rice... Uh, the ratio that I use while it's cooking. So I use three fourths of enchilada sauce and a fourth of a cup of water. And then it's soaking up all the sauce in the rice. And that's it. We put a little bit of salsa on top and call it a day. But, um, you know, when you get it in the packet, you've got little bits and pieces of you know, peppers and stuff like that. Jack's not a big fan. So I one day I just said, you know what? Let me just make it in some enchilada sauce and see. So I put more water and less enchilada sauce and it wasn't bad. But then I started adding more enchilada sauce just to kind of feel it out. Everyone loves it that way. So it works for me. Um, now I can tell you that instant, if you can get instant brown rice, it's better. Um, because the sauce cooks down a lot when you use, 
Oh, it sounds like something somebody hit something. Hmm. Um, the sauce you'll you'll have to put more sauce and water in it than it calls for. So for me, especially you know when I get off work and I know I want to cook, I can get the enchiladas made and the rice made, and and you know we could be eating within the hour. So if I get home at five and I start dinner after I put my my um, my laptop and my my books and stuff away. I start dinner. We're we're eating usually by six fifteen. I gotta have time, you know, to wash, make sure I have my pan and stuff like that. But it usually takes me about an hour or so. Um, and I love rolling them out. Sometimes I just make lazy enchiladas. You know what those are? Let me tell you. Um, lazy enchiladas are um, tortilla chips or corn chips or. The Doritos work really well too. I get a bag of Doritos. I have this big mixing bowl, the little silver, the big silver mil mixing bowls. I put that in there with like um, a bag of cheese or half a bag. I think half a bag of cheese, a large can of enchilada sauce, mix that all up, put it in a 13 by nine, and then I sprinkle more cheese on top and more enchilada sauce and bake that popping in the oven. It's amazing. It's so good. It tastes just like enchiladas, you guys. I'm telling you. Sometimes you just got, you got to improvise with what you have. So I just throw stuff together and we see how it turns out. But I really got to get the heck out of here because um, I want to get some work done. I've got my 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 plan and yeah, it's eight forty one. I gotta go. I'm hope hope to have this uploaded by noonish, somewhere around there. But um, yay, we made five days in a row, you guys. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Um, Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. And let's see, what are we going to do? We've got 11,000 subscribers. 11,000 subscribers. You know what? Um, I want you guys in the comments. I know I've already asked you about the Posh Yarn, but um, if you were to win, let's say, oh, what do I have? There was something that I wanted. Oh, you know what? Hmm. The um, Michael's Snuggles yarn. Michael's Snuggles yarn. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that in a. It, that's definitely gonna be one of them. I'm not gonna tell you what color. Um, it'll be more than one item, but that's going to be in a giveaway if you've watched this to the end. So. Just let me know what you would make with Snuggles, Loops and Threads Snuggles yarn. The thicker one, not the light, the thicker one. I've got several. I've, I've got more than I thought I had. So put that in there and I might pick a winner, maybe two. Who knows? Um, and also the second winner of the greeting card, Cal. I still need to hear from you. I think it's Kitty. Kitty Lane, please call me. Oh, no, don't call me. Please don't call me. Please email me. <laughs> Email me with your information to let me know that it's you. And I'd like to get a small package out to you as the winner. So you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And yeah, I can't wait to start reading the comments below. And that's only if you like Snuggles Yarn. If you don't like Snuggles Yarn, it's okay. But you know what? You can enter and maybe give it to someone you know that likes Snuggles Yarn. So that might be something that you could do. Anyway, thank you. Thank you so much. Now I really have to get off here. As much as I love talking to you guys, I got to go. So <laughs> I'm out. Um, I'll see you when I see you, everyone. <laughs> Happy hooking. Bye for now.